Hey, what's going on guys, Fixing here. Today I'm bringing another Sony Vegas tour. Now today I'll be showing you how to sync with velocity. So what I'm gonna try and do with this, because there is already some tutorials out there and people seem to ask me when they requested this was something a bit simpler, a bit quicker, and I have found that most tutorials out there usually run for 10 or 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna try and do is keep this under 10. Now I'd like to mention before I get started that a big inspiration for this tutorial and some help learning it my, a bit better myself was from Jez. So I'll leave a link down below to his channel and his tutorial. That's a full 20 minute tutorial. So if you want something a bit more in depth, you can go and watch his. But what I wanna try and do is quickly cover it nice and simply and just explain the basics for what you need to know. So what I'm gonna do is just show you a quick preview of what we're gonna be making. Okay, so that is it. That's gonna be the kind of final product. You can obviously spend some more time on it yourself. If you wanna get it really perfect, you can tweak it. But that's just the basic of what I'm gonna show you. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Vegas. Okay, so here we are in Sony Vegas Pro 15, and I've already got my clip on the timeline here, and then I've got my music down below. So the first thing you know is how many shots we're gonna be syncing up here. So I've just got a nice simple clip, which if I mute these, I'll play it back here. You just see he gets three different shots, all pretty close together. And there's a little bit of a longer gap for the before the third one. So what I'm gonna do is I know I've got three different shots, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find where the first three beats of the song are. So we just play this back here. Unmute this, we've got it a bit softer so it's not too loud. Obviously the first beat is right where this starts, so I'm gonna click M. And then we've got another one here. And then we'll put one here. So there's our three spots. And let me listen to this one more time. I'm actually gonna put the last one right there. So there's our three spots. There's where we need to sync our clip to. So the next step is to go through your clip and to cut it where each shot is taken. So perfect, right here, I'm at the shot. I'm just gonna click S. Make sure you're on the clip. I'm gonna go right to the where the bullet is first fired. So that's there, we'll go split, go to the next one. We'll go split, and this one here. We'll split it right there. So there is our clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this clip, we're just gonna drag it normally so it's shorter. Drag the beginning of it, line up to the first one. Get this one, drag it to the left there. Then we wanna hold control and drag it so it lines up with this clip. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna speed the clip up. So we'll have all the same amount of data and all the frames just sped up into that area. And then we'll do the same one for this. So hold control, drag it in there, drag this one across, and then this one we can just leave. Now what we need to do is we need to add velocity to all of these. So we're gonna right click, click insert slash remove envelope, hit velocity, and then you wanna do this for all of them. So each clip do that there you go so there is our velocity now we can start syncing so already these clips although the speed is way off if we play this back here you can see that all the shots line up with the beats it's pretty messy not very smooth at all but technically this is synced up so if you really were in a rush you really want to sync it this way you could and technically that would do but we're going to try something a bit nicer here so what we're gonna do is right click, and we're actually gonna double click to add a point, double click again near the top to add another point, and then what you're gonna do is right click on this point here and click set to 50 forward velocity. Then this one right click, set to 200 velocity, and drag this all the way to the edge. Then we're gonna do the same here, double click, set to 50, right click, set to 200, and we're just gonna go through, do this one by one, set to 50, set to 200. Remember if you drag it, you could be moving your mouse a bit, so just make sure you double check each time you drag around. But we're gonna be messing with this a bit later, so it doesn't really have to be that accurate. So right click, 200. And we're just doing this one by one. Obviously this is a bit of a painstaking process, and if you're gonna be doing this for a lot of shots, this could take a little while. So it's, you know, it is a bit of a laborious process, but the final effect will definitely be worth it. 200, 50, 200. Okay, perfect, we've finished. So what we're gonna do is, the way I like to sync is we have our slow clip build up, 
snaps up to there and then we have the slow fade out. So I'm going to drag these a bit shorter here, make sure they're back at 50. We're going to right click here and we're going to click slow fade. So I can't really show you, I'll zo probably zoom this in in post so you guys can see a bit better. But this clip right now has this sort of curve underneath to it rather than a curve over the top. So if we go here and we zoom in, we can see the default goes across and then down or across and then up. So by right clicking and we hit slow, it'll give it a nice curve sort of U shape to it. And that's exactly what we want. And then we're going to do on the other side is this time hit fast and then fast that will give us the same kind of shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up just so I can show you a bit clearer. We've got the smooth curve just like that. Obviously it's a bit hard to tell when you've got them, you know, really small. Now, quick tip, because uh, it actually is really hard to see velocity in Vegas, it's all so tiny and quite blurry to us. UI is pretty bad. A quick tip is you can always go into the settings and change the color of velocity. Or you can just right click, track display color and change that to something with a bit more contrast. So I'm gonna switch that to red there, you can see it a bit better. But it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to make it a bit easier for you guys to see there. So we've got that smooth, smooth. We're gonna go through all of these and click smooth. And then you wanna click fast. Smooth, fast, just rather slow, sorry, slow, and just make sure you've got all of your clips on slow and then fast, slow, fast, slow, fast. So already this will be looking quite a bit better, so we play this back here. You've just got a bit more smoothness to it, but it's obviously not perfect. So the way I'd like to do it, like I said earlier, is drag this a bit shorter, make this 50, and then extend this one out a bit, and then make sure that's on 50. So make this a bit shorter, 50, have this dragged out, 50. It doesn't have to be exact. Obviously, no one's even going to be able to tell how accurate this is. People just aren't going to be that sensitive to you know, the feel of it, just as long as it feels right, when you play it back, it feels nice and smooth, you should be good. Now, I definitely recommend enabling the actual audio track, because I find the gun sounds just get a bit more punchy and just make, give it a nicer feel. So if we, and actually another thing we can do is, because we've got this clip leading up, we don't want this all in slow motion. You can double click here, double click here, right click, normal velocity, and we'll just leave that at the default smooth fade. So we play this clip back here now. There you go, really nice synced. You know, it's not perfect obviously, but it's really quick, easy way to sync your clips. And if you want to get some maybe gun sounds without all the background noise, without all the background chatter, you can always add them in and that just gives it a bit more punchiness and just, you know, a bit more, you can notice the beat a bit better. It helps emphasize that feel. And there you go guys, that is it. That is pretty much the basics of how to sync in Vegas. Really quick, really easy way to do it. And remember, like I said, I did get the inspiration for this from you guys' comments, and this is what you guys wanted. Literally asked for a more simple tutorial. Uh, so what I did is I went and watched some other people like Jez and watched their more complicated tutorials, and I've just tried to boil it down to the basics for you guys. So remember, if you do want something more in depth, check out theirs down below. Shout out to Jez there. And that's pretty it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Remember to leave a comment for anything else you want to see as I do read all your comments. And if I can make a tutorial for something you've requested, I will. So that's pretty it, guys. Bye.